So just give give the listeners on YouTube a little bit of your what are you known for? You've been on this show, that show. What 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 have the Pop Brothers done? Because they're huge. Pop Brothers, Pop Brothers at law. Me and my brother. Uh, you know, we are California attorneys. We represent uh, criminal cases and cannabis cases, cannabis businesses, licensing, and all of that good stuff. But what really set us apart was the way we teach people how to engage and deal with law enforcement. And we came up with a simple 25 word script and a simple notion that everybody should easily remember when cops ask questions, you shut the so fuck. We're going to watch some viral videos or videos that are huge. And then we're going to get, uh, the wasses little brother, um, Mark's opinion. The first, uh, video is called when grandpa puts his foot down, um, don't mistake his kindness for weakness. Yeah, okay. We just actually had a call in the area of a girl that was getting chased. Okay. And a car came, picked her up and drove her off. Okay. No one else in here with you? Oh no. Look okay. here. Do you live up and around here? I take it. Well, you know, I strenuously object to uh, playing the 20 cash questions game. So I'm not going to do that with you. Okay. <laughs> You have ID on you? Yeah, but so what? Would you mind if I got that? Sure, I would. Okay. What about giving me your name? My name is Jay. Jay? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jay. My name is Deputy Gertler. I'm with the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office. Uh-huh. What's uh, what's your last name, Jay? Well, you know what? You're. I just told you I don't like asking questions. Okay. Why don't you get your light out of my camera there? What light? What, what camera? That camera right there. Get your light out of the camera so it can see who you are. Is that better? I hope so. Okay. So, Jay, Jay what's your last name? Well, like I said, though, you know, my whole it, reason for... It's, it's right here. Your whole reason for what? The, the girl that got picked up? is because we had a call right yeah. around here of a young lady being chased. Doesn't that concern you a little bit? Do you see a young lady? I don't, but I also like to know people in the area. Yeah, of where something might have been happening. Wouldn't you like that if that was your daughter or wife, someone chasing you, and there was a car sitting on the side of the road, very close to where that was happening, dark out, facing the train tracks? Wow, that sure is suspicious, isn't it? It is. Wow, it is. Is your life really that empty? All right, Jay. Bye -bye. So what, 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 Mark? What did he do, right or wrong? There. So there was there was an elderly man who was sitting in his car, and the cop came up to him and tried to make him feel guilty about whether. And, and we don't even know if there was a woman missing in the area, right? Do cops oftentimes always tell the truth? No, they often times lie, and they can lie. That's part of their arsenal: is saying whatever the hell they want. They can do that, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I think it's pretty obvious too. you know, this old man was g b being given a, a little bit of grace, uh, you know, maybe because of, he was an old white man. I don't know. But, um, I, you know, the only thing he did semi right was I'm not playing the 20 questions. I'm not going to do that. But, you know, the way he was speaking to the officer you know, a different officer could have got just completely agitated right from the jump and yeah. made it, it could have been, been a lot worse, you know, and we never heard, why did you pull, why did he get pulled over? You know, what was the reason for the pullover? Well, you know, you know what? I, I, I think he was parked. He was parked the whole time and the officer just came up to his vehicle because he said, is there something weird about a guy just sitting here uh, uh, yeah. by the train tracks? So he right. was parked and, the whole so time. So he's parked. Yeah, yeah. So, so when and then when the when the officer is engaging him about it, anything else, I'm not discussing my day because yeah. he's engaged. There's conversation going on. There should no. Yeah. There should be no conversation between you and the officer. Yes. Just yes. your 25 words and your license, insurance, or registration. Yeah. And that's it. You want to know my name? Well, it's on my license, right? It's on my here. It's yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. You but know, so I, I think he was playing the game that you didn't pull me over, so you don't even have uh, reasonable suspicion for my license. So that would have been consensual. So even in that case, you're saying give them your license? 
Yes. Yeah. They don't have, you don't have to be pulled over for a cop to come up on you and see. And here's the problem. And you met, you mentioned the kick Ter Terry v. Ohio and Mims. And there's a string of case law under Terry that allows the cop to be able to say, I thought I saw a weapon. I had to clear the car for my safety. That's yeah. it. That's all. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so when somebody says, what you got to tell me why you pulled me over. I don't have to give you my life. I don't have to. That's just not true. I, you know, sure. while I wish it were, uh, it, it's just not. And so in that, in, in that situation, that officer uh, coming up to a parked car, he has, it's not only consensual, he had the right to ask for that man's license? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, 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 well, hold, it, hold, 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 hold. It's not, no, no, no. It's not, he has the, okay, here, here's, here's the distinction. He has the right to ask if yeah. he, be, if he believes there's been a crime committed. Okay. Now, that being said, if the person feels like I haven't committed no crime, I haven't done anything. Why do I have to, because of that case law, that's why you have to listen. Even though it might very well be bullshit, the cop is spewing, and he's just lying. Yeah, because but he, he, he and, and in this specific case, he didn't. He didn't. He did not. Uh, he didn't. He didn't accuse him of any crime. Right. Exactly. And so, so unfortunately, because we have the case law that we have, even in that scenario, all the cop has to say. I was afraid for my safety. I had to clear the car for my this safety. One is, this one is, this is actually me, uh, little brother Mark. And this is called, uh, cop threatens to arrest drunk driver if I don't stop recording. Now, I'm recording <laughs> this from a public sidewalk, and the cop threatens to arrest this man if I don't stop recording the interaction. And it's actually, it, it's actually very entertaining. Uh, let's play that clip now, uh, 10th man. Can you turn it up a little? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, what state is this in? Where this is Illinois. Now, this is the first instance in which they bring me into it. This officer comes up and says, uh, is this your brother? What? How am I his brother? What? Did I just jump out the trunk? You pulled over the car. Was I in there? Where did I come from? And then the Chicago cops. You know them? Are you, asking, are you about to ask me if I can move their car? Uh, for what reason? Is this simple yes or no? Uh, no? I don't answer questions. No, there's no display. I, Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm not, I don't answer any. I don't answer any questions. I'm not answer. I'm not asking you a question. You yeah. have to submit that for evidence. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to get a subpoena for that. Okay. Then I need your information. I'm not. Here come the questions. I know. I don't answer any questions. You just, you just recorded. A okay. Unless. Okay. So in order to get my 
uh, in order to get my, I didn't record a crime. Uh, in order to get my, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In order for me to get my, I mean, Raz, reasonable articulable suspicion that I committed a crime. Other than that, it has to be consensual. I'm not consenting. My answer to that is no. I don't want. I don't. I, I did not interfere with anything. I stood right here. I'm just letting you know. You just recorded. I didn't record anything. I'm not recording anything. I'm not recording anything. I don't answer questions. Well, I need your information. So no, I'm not giving any. I, I do not give any information. That's it. I'm not giving any information. I don't answer questions. Please stop. Then walk away from me. Walk away. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Asking, no, no. Put up I'm tape. Put up. Away. Put up tape. I'm not walking away. I'm asking you to walk away. Right no, no, thank you. Listen, man. I'm no, thank you. I'm not bothering anybody. As a person, I'm not bothering you. Right okay, and I'm telling you, as a person, that I'm not bothering anybody. I'm standing right here. You're bothering me. So okay. Away. Well, you're bothering me. So, can you please walk away? Okay, so same answer here. So right there. So right there. So right there. What what, what do you think of that, uh, um, Mark? Like I was standing there. I yeah. I, I I came up to the scene after he had pulled the guy over, right? And now he's yeah. trying to make it like I did something wrong. What what and and what what do police have? If I'm, and I'm a journalist, right, and I'm standing on a public sidewalk and I'm filming an event, do, do they have the ability to just come up and take, I, I thought we had a 5th and yeah. uh, 15th yeah. Amendment right to property. Do. Does, does he have any right to just come and take my camera? Yeah. And then you have a right to get it back afterwards in court and sue the department for infringing on your rights and violating your rights and all that stuff. Well, then they, they would say he didn't have the right to take my camera if I could sue him for violating Correct. my rights. Correct. So, so when, when we're talking about do they have the right to, what does that mean? means because they have the gun and at, at that moment, obviously that cop knew he really couldn't do anything to you. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and he had enough self-control to not do anything because yeah. – Another cop wouldn't have given two fucking shits and taken your camera, threw you on the ground, and then you'd have to deal with it like we just talked about it, and you'd yeah. have a great lawsuit that you'd yeah. be able to uh, you'd be able to file, you know. And that, yeah. but that, and that's why there's so many groups and up in arms over, you know, cops who you you look up their records and like, oh, this one. $300,000 worth of payouts had to go because yeah. of this cop and what he did and that one, another couple, you know? And so they, they are almost given a pat on the back. It's okay. If you do it, we'll pay it out and don't worry about yeah. it. I think that's starting to change now with this yeah. climate, but yes. it's still the, that's the way it is, even though they don't have the actual this. Now, let's watch the end of this because he's going to send the son over because that's the family in the car. And he's going to the, the guy's going to send this. The officer's going to send the son over to um, uh, say something to me. Yeah. OK, so now this, he just sent him over to me and listen to what he says, Mark. And don't, the only way that they'll let him leave is if. Stop okay, but they, they got a promise. They got a promise to let him leave. I'll okay. turn I'll turn it off right, right now, but I'm gonna stay here with the young couple. All right. All right, okay. so <laughs> right there. Did you hear what he said, Mark? Do I he said the only way that they'll yeah. let him leave is if is you if, stop recording. If you, you stop recording. Now I'm the bad guy here. Now and they turned me into the guy. Like I came up on this stop. You didn't just stop this family. You didn't stop the family for no reason. You didn't give them a DUI test for no reason. But now you're putting it on me like I'm the guy that's arresting them. You know what I'm saying? That's so, ridiculous. And yeah, then they, they let it, and then they ultimately let them go. Let them go. Yeah, yeah. But I had to turn my camera off, and I said, "Okay, I'll turn my camera off, but I'm not leaving here until he's uncuffed." And they wouldn't go for that. I had to leave. And just been being on the street long enough and video long enough that I knew that they were going to let him leave. I, I went around the block a couple times and I recorded and uh, they eventually let him out of the cuffs and they let him leave. Wow. Wow. So you, you saved that. You saved that guy from going to jail that night. Yes, because people are like, oh, I almost made him go to jail. 
No, he was going to jail. The only reason he didn't go to jail is because I recorded it. I record. Yep. He, he was going to jail until yeah. he saw that camera, and the cop didn't want to be under the scrutiny of that camera and whether yeah. he did the field sobriety test right. Because almost anybody can't pass the field unless you're Nadia, not Kamakura. Right. Nadia Komenichi. The, <laughs> Nadia Komenichi. Unless you're, you know, uh, one of the uh, Mary Lou Retton, you can't pass these things. Especially if you're <laughs> our age, you know? Right. Absolutely. And that's so, so you know, like we in California, those are voluntary, right? So we actually, we urge everyone in your state, Google whether or not you have to do the field sobriety test. Because if you don't have to, if they're voluntary, do not do them. And we're saying, and this one, to me, is absolutely ridiculous. It's called one of the pettiest undercover investigations ever. And I want you to watch this because this is in L.A., Tell me this is not a joke. Tell me this is not policing for profit. All right, let's go. Let's see this. Uh, tough man. The individuals that entrapped me right here. Uber driver. They're trying to get every other Uber driver and Lyft driver right now. It'd be dope if I can catch one. Look at him. Wave people down. The woman said that she didn't have a phone, or no, she said that her phone was, she said her phone was out of battery, and the guy said he had a flip phone. Wait, there's no way those are two LAPD officers who are acting as stranded travelers trying to find a good Samaritan and tug on their heartstrings and then say, surprise, here's a ticket. There's no way that's happening. They're trying to catch all kinds of people. Watch this. Hey, brother, those people are undercover cops. I just got a citation for this. Oh, really? Yeah, they trapped huh. me. <laughs> yep. Huh? Good job, guys. I see y'all in court. That's absolutely ridiculous. That I mean, what? There's no crime going on in LA that they're they're trying to pick up Lyft drivers and right. The guys are doing them a favor. That's it's just ridiculous, and, and and it just proves my point that we say cops lie, right? They're allowed to. They they set up a whole lying. I mean, what is that? It has got to be the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Right, yeah. like you said, they got nothing else better to do: stand on a street corner, pretend like they need a ride, and bust a Lyft driver who's trying to be nice. Yes, they're they're, go they're literally going after good Samaritans. Now, if there's anybody left in this country that does not believe that police officers uh, uh, or the police uh, 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 a job is now a revenue generating service because they created unions, and in Chicago they make ninety thousand dollars a year. Eighty thousand uh, dollars base pay uh, on average, and then ten thousand in overtime. Now, Chicago is the third largest city. Houston is three times the size of us land wise, and only has a hundred thousand less people. Three thousand si the th uh, three times the size land wise, excuse me, and as a hundred thousand less people, they have five point three office thousand officers. We have thirteen point four, and they do it for sixty five thousand a year. Tell me we're not over policed in Chicago and they're it's just not a big scam. You know, I mean I don't I don't see why a cop needs a gun on his waist to go stop somebody from speeding. Or why can't they automate that? You do you you get ticked, you run a red light, you get a thing in the mail. Your I mean well, their technology's gotta God, be here. No, you don't listen, you don't know what you're asking for with that. You do not know because we got that in Chicago and it, it, there was a time, a good two year period, I I, I must have had like it, it was like I had a prescription uh, prescription, a subscription to a magazine because I got <laughs> one in the mail every single week and it was a hundred dollars and it, I think it's twenty eight days. If you don't respond, and it's 28 days from when they got it. The mail could not come for four weeks, and you're screwed. Now it's to $200. You know how they screwed us over with that? Because it used to be, okay, I take your car, little brother Mark, and I go through a red light. A cop pulls me over. I get the ticket. Right. I'm the one operating the vehicle. But now... 
they changed it and they made it like a parking ticket where the vehicle gets it doesn't matter if I'm driving your car the 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 camera can't tell who's driving the car so in order to make um passive it, where the car gets the the um ticket how does a car get a ticket oh uh, well, violation here in California actually that's it's it's interesting cuz I used to I still do my car is registered under my wife and my wife's car is registered under me. So when yeah. a traffic ticket comes, cause I ran a red light, there I am, Mark, man, Wasserman, and the ticket comes to my wife and then you go to court. That's not the driver. You don't answer Case that dismissed. question. I don't know how it is in Illinois. If it's, you know, I, I can't, I would, I don't know. I mean, you can't, how are you going to ticket a car? That, but that's how they did it. They changed it. They made, they made that specific law. Now Anyone under, try to fight it? Well, yeah. I mean, fight but it, it, yeah, everyone. Cause, cause, it, well, it, cause, you, cause the ticket is going to be in somebody's name, right? You, you're not going to bring the car in as the defendant. No, no, but see, they, they put it where you go to the administrative law judge. So you go to the exact same place where you fight a parking ticket. They put it into a parking ticket class. Oh. Do you understand what I'm saying? Where the somebody's car gets fight. Somebody's got to do something about that. It sounds That sounds very let's, let's, let's watch this one. This one's called, and you're going to laugh at this one, how ridiculous this is. This happened in New York City. It's called Cop Wants ID to Sue. Wait, wait till you see this. What would be the charge? Disorderly conduct, sir. Yeah? For asking questions? For asking you questions? Do you have ID, sir? You're making my <laughs> huh? very dangerous and you're endangering me and my officer. Do you have ID on you, sir? Because I feel... Am I being charged with a crime? No, sir. But can I have your name? Mm, then, uh, am I being detained? No, sir. But uh, Then I'm just going to walk away, okay? Bye-bye. You have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Do you like to sue me? Yes, you're in danger, my What what would what would be the cause of action? What would <laughs> is it is that unreal? Is that unreal? The cop the cop wanted the cop wanted his uh, he's not he's not uh being held, he's free to go, but the cop wants his ID because now he wants to sit, sue him. Does he even have the right to sue him in a person what? working for the government? <laughs> I mean, you know, anybody can sue anyone for anything if you would like, you know, whether it's frivolous or not is a whole other story. And I would have to imagine that any kind of claim that this cop thinks he was going to bring is in his mind and imaginatory and uh, frivolous. I, for what? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, well, well he, said, he said he, 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 put, he, felt him, he felt that he put his life in danger. He scared him, basically. That's what he said. He scared him. He scared the cop because he was videoing him. Yeah, yeah. And asking questions. Well, maybe the yeah. cop should. He's probably in the wrong job.